Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Understand fear as I have. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and welcome to episode 3 of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem Zelothat Run, a GameCube exclusive horror masterpiece. We got to. We got pretty far. And we got through the two of the most, like, to me at least, the most boring chapters in terms of gameplay, at least. Uh, the, I don't, <laughs> I don't think the traps in the Edwin Lindsay uh, chapter and the, well, I don't know the, the Paul Luther chapter was, it's not as bad, but still there's so much running and so little happens, kind of. But we'll see about the next ones. Hi there, hi sis, hi zombie, how are you guys? Hi there, hello. <laughs> All right, so. We gotta go get to the next chapter. The last uh, clue we got from dear old Grandpa Edward, late Grandpa, Groovy. <laughs> my dearest Alex, I'm glad that you have followed my paper trail thus far. I I knew I could depend on you. This will be the hardest part of your journey. Look for the 88 keys to continue your journey into the past. Your loving grandfather, Edward. So we're going to look for the 88 keys. It's her sanity. It's pretty low. We're going to let her snap a bit. Oh, there it is. Hear that? Familiar sound. Like, if you haven't heard it anywhere else, you probably heard it if you played RE1 Remake. I guess that's supposed to be a servant? She's still looking up, though. 
So these are the 88 keys Edward was talking about. <laughs> Seeing the piano stirred up distant recollections of Paul Luther's story in Alex's mind. The echoes of those notes within the cathedral echo also within her own consciousness. Her hands are drawn to the keys almost of their own accord. Should Alex play the piano? So we gotta play the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. A chapter page is hidden inside a piano. Should Alex retrieve the chapter page? The Forbidden City. Yeah. We got three more chapters at least. Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are you? Zdravo. So, you can see me in my true form. So he can see. Gifted man. He can Take see Pius for what, who he is. Just like the others chosen by the he book. Special, and should be given a special place among the suffering. <laughs> he ain't blind at all. Alright, so that's the intro into the next chapter, The Forbidden City. This is a good one, so I think all the chapters, because the location is called Forbidden City, The Forbidden City, that's where Pius first found the artifacts at the beginning of the game, so uh, I think that dungeon has the most interesting levels. Cambodia, one, thank god it's only two chapters that take place in that uh, place, because like I said, I don't dig the pressure traps, there's not much... It's just patience, mostly, and when I want to know more of the story, when I, you know, breeze through the game, it's just, it's not a real <laughs> challenge, you know, it's just try testing your patience. Um, the Cathedral will have one more, so wait, we have four more chapters. This one, we have World War One. we have, yeah, we have the Grandpa, and we have the most recent one. Let's get into it. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. All the right. Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, he was captured by a warlord expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. <laughs> to complete his task, he must survey the site. So Middle East, 1460 AD. We're being thrown around time, up and down. Oh good. Survey the site quickly, dog, and maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. Maybe. The sound effects here are, the, I think, the same sample that's played you think we would trust in Doom you, 3. Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly. And maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. He took a long dramatic break there. Alright, we are this guy now, Roberto. Roberto is also slow, I remember that. Like these artistic and scientific types, they're not really fast. I think the fastest character is the final one we play with just before well present. Because he's a firefighter, but we'll get to that. Roberto must survey the ruins of this ancient temple. The rooms he must survey can be found on the map. Only when these areas have been inspected can the construction begin. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we got the choir there, yep. So, just like with Karim, because the, it's the same temple, right? Only a thousand years later, 
just like Karim. So Roberto already has the map of the entire temple, which is interesting. They, you know, they gave it to him. They want him to inspect the tunnels so the thing doesn't collapse. So we gotta visit these rooms and wherever there are X's and uh, just make sure it doesn't all collapse. That's all we gotta do. <laughs> Sounds simple enough. The foundation for the monument has been constructed, but it has suffered some damage. The rest of the complex is unknown, and Roberto must discover its if construction can continue. Znači, u suštini grade ćele kulu ovde. Na bliskom istoku. Like I said, he's not really fast, he's a scholar. Let's see his stats. Uh... Holy shit, he's got pretty good HP, moderate stamina, and his MP is... Well, it's not really good. <laughs> oh, what is this? Who is this guy? Yo, guy. Yo, guy. A frantic worker looking for answers to questions that can't be answered. He hopes Roberto is there to save them and longs to see his family and friends once he escapes. Oh yeah, they're slave workers, that's right. This is the 1400s. It was like, you need something done? Just pick up some random people from a place that's not your own and put them to work. That's how they did it. Oh, it's just one guy in this room, okay? So there's nothing else here. Can you inspect the walls? But the music's there. The, for, the Forbidden City theme, I love this music. Oh, he's already tired. Okay, rest artist, rest. Can we go on? Yeah, thank you. Make a save. So just like with Kareem, there's a missable thing we gotta do here. If we're... If we're to obtain the final, final weapon. So I can go both directions, right? I hear zombies. I don't see zombies. Okay, there they come. This looks like a Mantarog zombie. So where am I? If I look at this... Ah, I see. Okay, so this is the end. I don't know why this is here, though. Nothing to do. Just to look pretty for the camera. Look at him. <laughs> All right, let's move on. One of Roberto's fellow slaves lies dead. His wounds seem to have attracted the attention of the beasts, for they have been gnawed open, spilling his innards onto the dusty floor. Sheesh, that's grim. No, I want to talk to the guy. So this is one of the rooms we must survey. But I guess we can't until we talk to him. You can hear the sound. And you can even you can even see somewhere. It's kind of falling apart. There we go here. See, it's next to this scaffolding. The pieces are falling off. So it's one of the X rooms, yeah. Let's survey the area. The structure around here so shows signs of stress. It is far from sound. Perhaps with some reinforcement, it might be able to suit the requirements of the monument. There we go, room one survey. Because this thing is like what now? Fifth, over, yeah, over 1500 years now that we know. So Pius was the first from this story to have stumbled upon this monument. Like we don't know how long it's been there, how long the ancients have been here. We don't know any of that. So we can just imagine it, it's at least 1500 years old why don't you guys want to talk to me okay well fuck you then an old scythe safe lies discarded on a nearby edge i think it's scythe maybe it's safe in english who knows this is a scythe i'll call it a scythe a curved arabic sword with a distinctive pommel the scythe is the standard weapon of most middle eastern armies middle age well, middle, no, not middle age. 
medieval Middle Eastern countries. I don't think they use it now. Crossbow bolt. So he also has crossbow. We didn't fire a single crossbow bolt with Paul Luther. For good reason, of course. Because by the time you reload it, like the ancients have won, you lost the game. <laughs> Alright, Roberto. You gotta be brave, man. Still don't have the Tome of Eternal Darkness. So no magic, none of that. And shit's about to hit the fan. Wait. Could I have found a weapon though? You know what? I have to check quickly. No, I don't have to check. I'll know if I need to find it. The lever is situated near the gate. Pull the lever. So this guy will explode. Oh, they're not combustible. So I have to kill him the old fashioned way. Nice. Another lever. And another two zombies. Nothing else here. You guys, are you combustible? I forgot, Chaturga zombies. Nah, they don't care about the fire. They're just Zelteth and Mentorok. No, no, the other guy. <laughs> I love when they smack each other. Thanks for helping me kill your friend. Yeah, okay. You can't finish him. I think there's... You just need to hit them once more when they're up. Oh look, that guy's dead. Like, totally. Duh, it's me. Nothing to worry about. I just pushed the button there. Please. Thank you. Ow. Oh shit, I'm surrounded. I can't. You just hit someone, Roberto, for the love of fuck. Why are you not hitting them? There you go. Oh my. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Hey, John. Good to see you, buddy. What is up? What is up with you? Have you been working last night? Oh, there's still live people here. More crossbow bolts. Where's the crossbow, though? They still don't want to talk to me. Well, fine. There's the crossbow. Oh, this room also needs to be surveyed, right? Yeah, there's an X there. Before I do it, can I talk to you guys? Nobody wants to talk. Oh, there we go. The man babbles inco incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen. And that Roberto will be next. What did you say about my worms? What about the other guy? Can you talk? tell me something about the worms? No? Have you got worms, sir? Oh, there he is! There we go. You gotta catch him in a special way. Yeah, he also talks about worms. Okay, let's examine. Dust and rock falls from the roof through a fault in the stone. It is difficult for Roberto to assess how sturdy the place is, but it needs a lot of reinforcement if it, if, if it is to be built upon. Okay, that's room number two surveyed. I feel like, like shit's about to hit the fan. It's the smartest thing to do. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Who has been added? Paul? Yep, P. Ludo. Poor Paul. So two more people. Spoiler alert. Roberta is going to be one of them. Cradle and what? Oh yeah, that's always the same. You don't have to read that every time.
Oh, that sound of the knowledge. What is it, boy? The worker is surprised to see Roberto. He confesses the, to cowardice as he stayed behind while others ventured further into the complex. When the screams of others echoed from the walls, he dared not move. Well, probably the smartest thing he could have done, really. Oh no, not, not you guys. Ah, shit. You know what? Actually, I want you to teleport me. Thank you. Because I need to I need to heal up without using his limited mana. Ah, is that a horror? I gotta... So I gotta try to teleport into the horde to kill him. There you go. It's like in Quake 3 Arena, or any Quake. If you teleport into them, you effectively kill them. <laughs> Left arm. Right arm. I can't see, man. Please. Combo. There we go, heal. For the love of God, man, just die. There's more of them there. Just ignore them. Yeah, I might need to kill one of them for some sanity. Ooh. That guy's down. This the other guy doesn't have a head, so he can't find me. Oh, sorry, Sash. Okay, now we sneak. Look, I didn't teleport in here. Don't mind me. I will just slowly but surely move away. I don't need both of them anyway. I know if you can move really slow, you barely tilt the stick, you can even sneak past them, yeah. There's more of them, I can hear them. Just up, nothing else here? No. So let's follow where we've been, just so I don't get lost. We've been in that, that room, yeah, and we've been in that room. We started right, so this is just south of where we start. We started here, where this circle is. That's where the tower is going to be. I just got to be careful I don't fuck up. Collapsed roof and scaffolding prevents Roberto from proceeding further down the corridor. This corridor, okay. Let's go up. Ah, that's what I was waiting for. I'll be right back, sir. Okay, so well, what I need to do here is it's a uh, it's a zelfat. Um, um, what are they called? Gate gatekeeper? Yeah, gatekeeper. The guys that always keep draining your. Oh, great, Sash. Uh, your sanity. So. Let's make it harder for them. Come here. Move away right away. Move, 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 move. Cause if it catches you, it kinda latches onto you. Like a redad from Zelda from Ocarina of Time and Majora. I gotta trick it to open its wings and then move away quickly. Hit it and move away. Cause I don't have any... Like I have the crossbow though, I could try that. Kinda, let's try that actually. I feel that might help. Enchant the crossbow. Let's see, let's try to headshot it. Did it just pass through him? 
Wait, let me try that again. I don't think it's hitting it. <laughs> so yeah, let's stick to my original plan. I feel that, you know, it worked better. Down he goes. No, not the stairs! No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. You'll be right back. Oh, he's gone completely. Oh well. Hear that? Reminds me of something from Silent Hill specifically. Summon zombie. Okay, we have that. We know that spell. I just say zombie chow outbreak <laughs> and he appears. <laughs> An abandoned library of sorts. A small collection of rotted useless books lie amidst smashed pottery and debris. Like books? I mean, maybe the ancients gave him the technology. Okay, time to go downstairs. I'm pretty sure the horror can take a bolt in the face. Oh jeez, there it is. And it's a... Oh, it's a Chaturga horror. Okay, be right back. Which means... Red, green, blue. So blue. Hell yeah. Hell, I just keep doing this. <laughs> As the ceiling keeps bleeding. All right, horror. Oh. Where are you? Oh shit! Why do I feel the swords are better? Oh shit! 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 I didn't reload it. Fuck it! Just sword him into the face. Oh. Oh, I forgot about the electricity. I think I got it. Okay. That is why we didn't use I, I mean I'll try just depends how tired I get if I can if I can make it through the whole we got four more chapters and these are gonna be big chapters so these tend to stretch <laughs> well that was perfect timing love that was perfect timing <laughs> A worker's corpse lies amidst a pile of rubble. The man's body had been pulverized by being thrown against the wall with such ferocity that it had collapsed. The wall, I think, that means. So nothing here. Let's check where the next room we gotta survey is. So we're in this corridor now. I'll keep going north. We'll end up... Ah, okay. We'll end up at the room. So we'll end up at the part of the temple right here which we know from both Pius's and Karim's chapter like I said these maps are worn by time so some some of the same rooms you'll visit through other means it's pretty cool so how many rooms left here none it seems two more here okay and we gotta pick up uh, the other effigy that we need for um the super secret charged weapon it'll make the final boss a lot easier another worker's corpse this time slashed from behind as he ran from his attacker hoping for escape so those are the others that the cowardly guy heard 
get killed. They were killed by this horror, I guess. The horror is what smashed him. Look, he's, he broke a wall by throwing that man. Jeez. And the rats. The rats don't give a shit. Can you even target the rats? No. So now this will be familiar. Ah. Is this the last one, I think? Now that's what a scared man going crazy sounds like. Not like... Who was it? Edwin Lindsay? He's like, no, this is not happening. <laughs> like a gentleman. I think that's the last one, I'm not sure. So remember, those... We get them only for not curing Alex. Oh yeah, something I didn't show. Cast. See that when you want to summon a creature, the Mentor or Kroon, it's not shining. The Mentor or Rune cannot be used in summoning magics. The binding of Mentorok has weakened it. And it can no longer fuel incantations of this kind. That's like keep, <laughs> keeping in line with your own lore. Beautiful. So if you remember in chapter 2 with Elia, you could see like she read from the Tome of Eternal Darkness how... Uh, how Pius bind, bound uh, Mantorok in his tomb. So that's why the rune can't use those summoning magics. Alright, gotta sacrifice a Zamboni. After a zombie has been summoned, press A to attack enemies. Attacks can be targeted using R, just like with the characters. Attack an enemy's head to perform a no attack. Press start to release control of the zombie. Okay, press L and stick to make the zombie walk faster. They can run a turbo. And zombies can open doors, unlike trappers, but not pick up items because they're still zombies. So this is the normal walk. So depending on which zombie you summon, right? You still have the power, whichever zombie you summon, that kind of zombie it'll be. This is the running speed. Can the zombie examine? Yeah. Ravaged corpses litter the room. Their flesh has been devoured in places and the decomposition has already set in. Can, you, can I attack myself after summoning a creature? No. Can I? I'm gonna try. Will it kill me? No. Wait. No, okay. <laughs> Never tried that. Attacking myself. Oh, my mana, I was sticking around in the zombie too long. <laughs> that came out wrong. Alright, so this is where Pius came from. I'm pretty sure Kareem came, so this door is now sealed. That whole part of the temple is gone. Yeah, it also drains your sanity when you're doing this. I forgot that, when you're summoning creatures. You're going crazy just from controlling a zombie. So this one goes down, which means it'll end up there. So I can do that first. Let's do that first. Oh god. Oh, so this is an Ulya uh, Guardian. What do I want to do? I want to Ulya blue, red, green. Green goes versus blue. Alright. 
I'll just go with the side. Enter my heart. Charge! Chop, chop! Oh, that was quick. I'll need your sanity, please. Yeah, kinda. Suck it. It's easier when it when I'm looking it in the face, I can target easier. Why are you walking straight towards me? Are you crazy? Oh god. Oh god. I don't want to be teleported. Not this time. You know what? I'm just gonna take care of the problem myself. Hi there. Bye there. I like how they just, <laughs> the way they die, just collapse. It's done. It's pretty well animated. Oh, the walls are bleeding again. There was nothing here. Good to know. Am I in the place I'm, I thought I was? Yeah. So we're going to end up in another room we know. Hold on a minute. Yeah, there's no going up. So we're gonna end up, yeah, in the artifact room. We should be able to meet. Kareem and. Yep, Chandra. Venture no further or be struck down where you stand. Who? What? I am the guardian of this temple, the Forbidden City. None shall enter except the Chosen. Speak. <laughs> you are the Chosen. This is sad. For many years I have tested those who came here and all have failed. You are unaffected by the power I wield. And thus must surely be the Chosen. I? Once I was as you were. Confused and without answers, yet they came in time. Now my duty is complete. I can finally rest. My sacrifice was not in Poor Kareem. I sympathize with him and Anthony the most. He waited for a thousand years there. For someone to come and claim it. There we go. Roberto can feel the acidic touch of the artifact's magic reaching toward him. Using a shred of cloth from his robes to shield his hands, he retrieves the hovering artifact. Which is the essence of Julia. And we got the ruby effigy. Okay, so we got the effigy from... From... Uh, Karim. Now we gotta find the other one. And Roberto's gonna pass it on to someone else. How many rooms left? I don't wanna end this too quickly. Yeah, okay, two more there, yeah. Okay, so I can survey this area. The room appears to be an incredibly ancient shrine to the ancients, as noted in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Could this be what Roberto's captor seeks to preserve with his, with his, his monument? Yeah, I feel, I always felt that Pius has the most like, this temple is his soft spot. This is where he lost his humanity, after all. Came in as a Roman soldier and came out as an undying lich. What's here? A construct of human bones lashed together to form a small shrine. A shade of skin tops the edifice, making the light cast eerie shadows on the walls with, that glow with a warmth of their own. So can I use the book on it, like I could before? No. Oh yeah, Essence of Uliath. Its veil shifts from plane to plane, reality to reality, never really existing, but never really not. Ah, uh, I love Uliath. Uliath is the last playthrough we'll do. Save the best for last.
no not that the ladder so this is the ladder kareem used to come down but we can only see it here on the right it's broken there's nothing there what's the point of this room for him though thanks john Let me try something. So there's the re reveal invisible spell, right? Interesting thing, if you cast reveal invisible with Mantarok alignment, it actually makes the character invisible. <laughs> I just found out about that this year. When I was playing this game, like, back in the summer. Mm. Red, green, blue. Red... I'm gonna I'm gonna try. What's the worst? I don't know what's the point of this room for him. Like it could have been sealed off completely. You can't Maybe there's something else there? I mean I recently played the game, like I said, and I still can't remember. There's so much the plot is huge. But if we play it three times in a row, it's gonna be a lot easier. Oh, stop, stop that. Please, don't do that. Just randomly. Come on, you can do it, Roberto. All right, all that's left is this side. Mm. There you go. Oh! Wait, I am, I'm not supposed to be afraid of these guys. Yup, they're, they're Uliad zombies. Holy shit. I'll be right back. Oh, if they're Uliad. Hey, kitty. If they're Uliad zombies. Red, green. Enter my heart. Enter my heart. Here I am. Fight me. Oh shit! I'll be right back. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna check. Oh, just one guy is left. Whew, the other one's exploded. It's there spraying blood. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think we can only see this because I cast the uh, reveal invisible spell already, if I'm not mistaken. Where am I? Oh, still humans here. Good to see. Damn it, I gotta examine. Although crumbling in places, the structure of this area could be braced to provide enough of a foundation for the monument. Beam, bee -dee, bee -dee, bee -dee. Oh my god, of course you can't talk to them, they're monsters. Should I even fight them? see what's in the room maybe the effigy is here oh this can't be happening <laughs> that's a good one uh okay i think they're green so i'm going to go with the red I'm gonna go with the red right away. Fuck it. It's good when you have low sanity. Ouch. You can't just fucking stun lock me. Yeah, that's how I will show me your real self. 
Okay, get out, get out. I'll be right back. No, 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 don't show me a real sale. I just want to get out. Woo! Oh, my appendix. Cool, I'll need more mana for this. If I had a trapper now, it would be cool. Can I even cast a shield? A Mantorok shield, that would be nice. Nope. Gotta walk around aimlessly to recover my mana. Let's try now. Nope, still not enough. What, what says the map? What's beneath here? So... If I continue here, there's another room to survey. And below there... There's something there too. Okay. We'll check them both. Damn, how much mana you need. Considering his low mana pool... I'm not surprised. Jesus Christ. There we go. That's all I have. Let's hope for the best. Who's first? Alright, now we're in the open. Come face me. No, 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 no. Nice. He got them instead. Easier to fight them when they're... Oh, that's what I was afraid of. No, 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 run, 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 run. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead, dead. I'm really dead now. <laughs> okay, I saved recently. Be wary of their room. I kind of feel like the effigy is there, so that's why I want to kill these bastards, but I think I should just run out. Or before I even get to... Uh, before I even survey the room, Roberto has perished at the hands of the eternal darkness. With no one to stop their diabolical plans, humanity will surely be annihilated. The end. It's good, like if you already saw the intro stuff, it just skips it quickly. Stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> Alright, so what was on the other side? There were Uliad zombies, right? Let him explode. As soon as one of them starts singing, they all start singing. Yeah, off with their heads. One, two. Hold on a second. I want to check something. I'm pretty sure one of these is secret, and I'll never find out if I go in right away. So... I'm gonna make myself invisible instead. Reveal invisible three-point mantle. There we go. And then enchant five-point Red, green, Zelta. Red, green, yeah. Enter my heart, no, none of them are invisible. Okay.
It's easier to kill them when they can't see you. I could do that in there too. Okay, now check the room. You don't want to talk? Bazooka! <laughs> There's... Well, the best we can get is the grenade launcher near the end of the game. They still can't see me. Better not let them. Wait, wait, wait. I can use this to my advantage. Enchant 5 point Chiturga. Well, I'm still invisible. Visible again. Ow. Okay, so that's how we can get them. Go back out there, become invisible, come back in. Do they really want to see? Oh, oh, it's the same. Well, that's rare. For the same sanity effect to occur in the same place. But because we loaded the game, it doesn't know it happened. That's okay. He's in his own world. Headshot for opposing. Headshots. It's just crazy. Will you please die? Look at his head. It's still there. It's still in the air. Oh, God. The only way to do a combo is not to aim. If you aim, you can't do a combo. Is my sanity going down because I'm invisible? Apparently so. We did it! There we go. There's nothing here. So I died for nothing. Well, at least I know. Oh, I'm a zombie now. <laughs> How long will I be a zombie? Are you shitting me, game? You're gonna leave me a zombie? <laughs> oh, here we go. Senpai, redeem the sing mode. Now I gotta sing whatever I say. <laughs> I am going batshit crazy thinking I'm a zombie. A bomby zombie. So long sanity. <laughs> Here we go down the ladder again got the crossbow fuck him up just quietly very slowly going here shooting little fuckers gotta reload gotta scan something's too Suspicious here, here we go, reveal invisible. Aha! 
A sapphire effigy stands inside an alco set into the wall. <laughs> That's what we need. A small statuette of a sorcerer, driven mad by an unseen force, it is made from a lustrous sapphire. Sapphire! <laughs> Stone and rumble from the collapsed ceiling prevent any passage in that direction. Why am I whispering when they can't really hear me? Holy shit, that doesn't look good. How am I gonna get fucked up? <laughs> Holy cow, look at that guy. He's killing zombies in my steed. What color was he? <laughs> Do I have to sing when I'm laughing in two? <laughs> Come here, fucker. I got something for you. Eat a dick, you red. Giant piece of shit. No. My character is tired. I can't walk on. There we go. Down, boy. That is right, stab him in the gut. There's a key placed on the pedestal. <laughs> it glints in the room, soft light. Soft light. The forgotten corridor. All right, I know what that's for. That's for the door I didn't touch. It's like, almost like I remember this level. All right, so we got the items we need for the Best weapon? Ha ha ha! <laughs> Just that. The key to Forgotten Horridor. So this is where Pius was putting those blocks back 1500 years ago. The wall is decorated with runes. Great care has been taken to place the scaffolding around the symbols, not to damage them. Obviously they must be of great significance. Yeah, it's important to our boy Pius. Anything else here? Man, Roberto is slow, like, near the end of the game, these slow characters pop in. Like, the first half of the game, it's all warriors, dancers, whatnot, and then we go with, like, scholars, uh, what are they called, like, he's an architect, uh, Edwin Lindsay, what's his name, was, uh, archaeologist, Paul Luther was a monk, none of these guys can run to save their lives. It's Mr. Red all over again. <laughs> Only it's not John controlling him this time. Alright. So we can unlock the forgotten or forbidden? Yeah, the forgotten corridor. So this door wasn't here before. In the previous two chapters. At least not, not in Pius' chapter. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't there with... Um, yeah, this is it. It wasn't there with... Kareem too, yeah. What is he looking at? It's a pussy wall. I guess that's a lion, I think. Here we go. This place is dangerous. First, rest. He'll. So, this is what I was <laughs> fearing with him. First, you gotta rest him, because he can. Like, his stamina is shit. But then. But then. Eh. Uh, we gotta shield him, because the floor is killing us. Where's the shield? There we go. Shield. Let's go to Turga. Get ready. One. Two. Ah! I should have checked them, never mind. Just run, run, run. There's nothing interesting there. 
Don't go crazy now, man. Oh, I'm even left with one. Can go there, for sure. Hi there, sir. Oh, your wall's bleeding. This is why your thing's collapsing. The man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen and that Roberta... Yeah, you already told me that, guys. I don't see no worms, so... I'm just gonna try to mosey on over here. What is this? Oh, God. Hideous bass relief adorns the monolith. Humans thrown into a nest of huge worms. The people have been sacrificed, ingested by the worms to fuel some unknown, unfathomable process. You can say that again. Is it the same on the other side? Yeah, worms, worms, worms. Oh, this carving depicts a man's skeletal remains in the cruel embrace of a multitude of worm-like creatures. Are these the things that killed the man in this room? Wait, someone's dead in this room? Oh god, look at that. Well, let me check that. I didn't see anybody dead. Wait, is there a corpse? Did I... Was there... Nope. Nope. Who... Did... Who died? Never mind. So we can't cross from here. Oh, there's a rope. Yeah, this is not in this chapter. A rope holds the bridge aloft, waiting to be lowered into position. Well, lower yourself. Down, boy. This is it. We're done with this chapter. A lever is mounted on a nearby column. Yes, pull it. Okay, now we gotta survey this room. I think that's it. So the lever was unnecessary, uh, unnecessary if you got get here last. The dilapidated roof appears to be collapsing in several areas and will need a lot of reinforcement. The workers will have a daunting task ahead of them. Roberto has completed his survey of the complex. Now he can return to the surface and report his findings to his captor. In hopes that he, you know, stays alive. Oh, let's not fall for that again. Mm, let's cast oh, Uliot shield this time. That voice is so good. Charge! Oh, he means these men that are dead in this room. Watch out for the corpses. Don't sit on them. Okay, enough with the cry. I can still hear him. Oh my god, stop doing that. There we go. I wanted to hear the music. Enough of the screams already. We saw that, yep. Holy shit! What? That's the second time in this playthrough I didn't get teleported by these guys. Sneaky sneaky? Oh, there's the cowardly guy. You still there? Ah, uh -huh, okay. You guys are still human? Not infested by bone thieves?
So it's easy to mix up chapters. I thought something was gonna happen in this chapter, but it's not. It's with the final character that that's in this area. Oh, kitty, please don't jump around my lap like like you're crazy. Why are there zombies? Oh, I'm, okay, I'm losing my mind. Well, like, I know there shouldn't be any zombies here. Where is it gonna bring me back to? Okay. So what's the truth then? Am I still crazy? And what news do you bring me, architect? The, the, the foundations are infested. Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. You have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue as planned. But the demons! You'd be insane to build there. Silence, dog. What dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. For you to understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. Guards! Put this one with the others of the sacrifice. I am the Scourge of God, appointed to chastise you, since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you. So be silent! Now you, architect, you are about to make your largest contribution to this project. What a horrible fate. Yeah. There's a lot of foreshadowing and like at the start of the game, we just don't know it. So we saw this. It's in the house. <laughs> Here, I'll show it now. Damn, it's just so dark. <laughs> Alright, the... Oh yeah. So because we just played this chapter... There it is. You see it's collapsing? You gotta survey it like... <laughs> like Roberto did. Should Alex try to survey the area? An unseen force guides Alex's hand towards the painting, compelling her to look behind it. She reaches out and pulls back the painting and discovers a chapter page hidden behind it. A sense of familiarity overcomes her as the chapter page comes to her fingers. So does the realization that Roberto's spirit is aiding her. Here we go, a war to end all wars. Ooh, I love this one. And this cutscene. ASMR. The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much Just longer. peeling onions there. There is no choice in the matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. Just the way he ignores him. 
and keeps doing his stuff. <laughs> this cutscene is just stuck in my head because of that. So yeah, that's the pillar of flesh. We saw that at the start of the game. It didn't mean much, but there you go. So it's it. Pius built it on top of the temple where he found the artifact of, well, whichever the ancient, whichever ancient we chose with him is the one he'll um, be aligned with. This is we've seen this briefly with Max. We'll see it with Alex and Edward a lot more. This is Cambodia. No more, nothing else left in that temple. This is also like a, a relic from that temple in Cambodia. And this is the cathedral where we're going now. First World War. That's where Anthony and Paul Luther were. And she, like, her sanity is almost gone. And I'm not curing it until it starts affecting her HP. So weird shit might start happening around the house. Um, oh yeah, I got the chapter page. I don't have to go anywhere. Why did I even... Never mind. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. See if you can recognize His Peter's voice. about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, now transformed into a field hospital. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of war. It's Raziel. <laughs> Shelling. In World War I. Mustard gas. Michael Bell. Rip voices him. Kind of looks like so Raziel too. Uh, while well, he was human, of course. Gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded. <laughs> yeah. Such was the style at the time. So the war is raging outside while we're doing this chapter. A soldier's letter lies on the table waiting to be sent home. Let's read it. First letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love Margaret. I was admitted to this hospital on Tuesday. The damage caused to my legs was slight, but there is no way that I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I am reminded that I will never be able to do the things I love. The hospital is a very strange place. Converted from an old cathedral, there is an odd atmosphere around it. Silent, but for the words of the wounded calling out in the night. There is no doubt it is haunted. What I find most odd in this place is that you never see anyone leave during the day. It's not right. No goodbyes or farewells, just an empty bed when you awake. He starts with... Um, he starts with the flash pan. That was the style at the time. <laughs> which photographer's flash pan used to hold combustible powder that when ignited create, create a large white flash. This can be used to stun some enemies. So we can literally stun them with the, with the photographer's flash. Because he's a journalist, war journalist. He also starts with a coin, which doesn't work like Jim's coin, unfortunately. An old coin marked in a peculiar manner. It has held sentimental value for someone. Whoever holds the penny will undoubtedly receive good fortune. So it is a lucky penny, but not in a way you think. <laughs> Zombie. 
So it's the same cathedral, as I said before. Let me just make sure I save this before heading out. 1916. Let's snoop around. Cover covered with blood-stained sheets, these poor souls have passed from this world. For them, the suffering is over. But for those around them, the ordeal continues. Same. Maybe in the tent. The faint sound of moaning emanates from behind the linen veils. Whispered utterances, frantic prayers to loved ones, words offered only by those who face their mortality. That's just fucked up. Same. Same. Keep thinking a bomb's gonna hit. With a motherly voice, the nurse advises that Peter get some rest. The soldier is rather distressed. Perhaps he has lost a lot of friends to the trenches of the Somme. He confides that the only stories are sad ones, and that the only true heroes are in the mortuary. Ugh! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this game just doesn't take prisoners. Are you alive there, man? Can we even talk to him? We can zoom the camera on him and look at him. He's breathing, so he's alive. I got love how they're reacting to the stuff that's happening around them. Turning their heads. Hey, Gamut! Welcome to the stream! How are you, man? Happy working, I hope. A sealed envelope that seems to have been left behind. A sealed envelope. It looks rather official. Should Peter open the envelope? Peter has acquired some soldier's orders. Some soldier's orders. An official note on Army Regulation Stationery. The note reads, Private Thompson, by order of Lieutenant Hargraves, on behalf of her royal... His Royal Highness George V, you are to leave your post of duty and re <laughs> duty and rally in the street outside Oublier Cathedral. Further orders will be presented at the rallying point. God save the king. Nothing there. Ooh, is everything okay? Losing power. The cathedral's tabernacle is fashioned from aged varnished mahogany. So it's the same as it was with um, with Paul. The altar is cleared of all valuables, not only to prevent looting, but also to afford space for medical supplies and even as an operating table, should the need arise. Because that was First World War for you. The guard frowns and ushers Peter away from the organ. He explains that it is one of the few antiques in the region that has so far survived the war, and that while he's alive, it will remain intact. Foreshadowing? Okay, if you hope so. Just concerning, I know it's not quite a thing over there in the US. It's not like Serbia. Wind blows, power goes out. Hippie can't stream. <laughs> the guard quietly but strongly points out that the area is off limits to civilians. Well, screw you, buddy. So we're gonna see both the old and the new cathedral, both what Anthony saw during the Charlemagne chapter and what uh, Paul Luther saw during the Inquisition chapter. An odd collection of colored lines decorate the wall. Below the design steps appear below the design steps appear to lead up on into the wall, going nowhere. Well, good thing we have that. Reveal invisible spell. Well, not with not yet. We gotta get to the. I love the ending of this story. You'll see. I don't want to give it away before we get there, but it's gonna go pretty well. I will just say that Peter doesn't end up in the in the hole of the tome, whatever it's called. I call it the hole of the tome. Abruptly, the guard asks if Peter has clearance for the old tower, as it is a restricted area. Well, fuck you too, buddy. Okay, there's only one place left to go, and that is the front entrance. Let's check the sides too, before... Because I know, like, after after we get the tome, shit's gonna hit the fan, as it does. 
He's very tired. Sorry. Just we'll walk. It's okay. Just so wanna make sure there's no supplies we can pick up. Because after this, picking anything up is gonna be a problem. Especially as I remember, power's gonna <laughs> go out to the cathedral as well. You know, due to the war and everything. So, you know. Do I have a torch with him? Fuck, I don't can I don't even remember if he has a torch. We'll find out. We're about to find out. War supplies. The guard shifts about, obviously bored with his duty and awaiting a replacement or perhaps a call to arms. Well, we can provide it to you, man. Just let me explore a little and I'll give you a call to arms. You'll get your call to arms. That's a raid chopper from Sexy Wesky. Hello, Wesky. Hello. Welcome, raiders. Welcome. Hi, Simon. How is everyone? Thanks for the raid, Wesky. Oh, it's a good... Hi, Sideb. You gotta... Can you... Will you do the honors, please? Yes, thank you so much, Gamma. Thank you. Resistance. La Resistance. How are the games, Wesky? Welcome, everyone. If you're not familiar with the game, this is Eternal Darkness and it is Requiem GameCube exclusive horror masterpiece. I'm Hippie Tesla. I stream retro games on actual hardware. No emulation. All that stuff. Oh, good to hear. What is it, kitty? Do you want to... Why do you want to get into my face? Because I'm talking to Wesky here? I think she recognizes the word Wesky so far. <laughs> I'm doing good, man. I'm still playing Eternal Darkness. We're going to do three playthroughs of this game uh, this October to get the full ending. So, it's excellent. I'm glad your yours was too. <laughs> With the war being so close, a curfew has been imposed. Traveling outside the hospital is not a safe thing to do. Since their intruders will likely be shot on sight. Peter decides to remain inside. There's war supplies everywhere. Bombs are falling. Stack deeply on the landing. Crates of medical supplies await use. Surrettes and morphine. Bandages, tourniquets, antiseptics. The list goes on and on. Will you talk to me, nurse? Yes. Okay, same thing, with a motherly voice, she tells him time to kindly and politely FUCK OFF! It's the same thing. He's not gonna comment on that. I think we can still look over the cathedral. Oh, there's more wounded here, jeez. Remember when, like, remember a few hundred years ago when there were, like, benches here in Paul Luther's, Luther's chapter? Well, now we got more important stuff to put here. They're not called benches in the church. They have a special name in English, I remember. Oh, there's another one. Another soldier's letter. Second letter from Private Reginald Jackson is to his love, Margaret. I've been here for over a week now, and there is no word when I will be allowed to leave. Strange things have happened. At night, the sounds of the hospital change. Echoes of voices that don't belong to anyone haunt the walls and corridors. The restless ghosts, perhaps, or sounds of movement, or whispers. I have seen war firsthand, and the sounds at night in this hospital scare me more than I ever thought possible. What is going on here at night? Why do I feel so threatened? My fears are worsened by the talk of the other young soldiers. One said he had heard cries for help in the middle of the night. Cries that were only answered by snarls of rage and not compassion. Another said that Lance Corporal ha Haskell? Is his name Haskell, really? <laughs> had not been discharged, but has gone missing. I stare at his empty bed with a sense of unholy dread, gnawing at my heart. You call him Haskell. <laughs> how did how did that elude me all these years? The guy's fucking called Haskell. 
Nothing in the bell tower for him. Maybe later though. Alright. Reject everything we can. Let's send that soldier into war. It's not really a good thing I'm doing here, but... Strange things did happen here. No stranger would it be if we met at midnight in the hanging tree. What is that? Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be the one sending him into battle. The guard unfolds the orders and begins to read them before exclaiming, Bloody hell, lad! We must be on the offensive! Following the orders, he takes leave of his post. So long, sir. Oh, okay. Damn, it's been, what, seven years since we watched Hunger Games, love? I see. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. Won't be able to look at it for long. No, not that. Okay. Designed to muster patriotic feelings, these posters declare that the Allies are fighting the good fight. It's small comfort for the occupants of the room whose spent corpses line the cold cathedral floor. Man, this game with, like, descriptions is just brutal. You can't even check that. What about here? Stacked like logs, Peter stands before the price of human war. The bloodied corpses of young men who have made the ultimate sacrifice to defend their own countries and those of others. Yeah. Well, that's some grin shit. Okay. If I remember correctly, it's about to start. A revolver lies abandoned on a nearby pew. Pew, that's what it's called, a pew. The church bench. Should Peter pick up the revolver up? Should Peter pick the revolver up? Yeah, Peter has acquired the revolver. And... Powers out. Now, he doesn't have... He doesn't have a flashlight or a torch. At least not yet. So, I'll just have to be careful in the dark. Oh shit, it's the, it's the tome hole. Okay, second to last addition to the tome hole. I love that sound of the opening head. Roberto Bianchi. Rest in peace, Roberto. No shit. Okay, it's gonna get scary now. Oh god, is that that's a, that's a bone thief, and we got nothing but the flash, and six bullets in the revolver. Not gonna be enough. So, before I go out to die, uh, can I escape? Yeah. Okay. Oh god, they're killing the nurses. So I gotta avoid the nurses now. Because they're possessed. The bone thieves has, have stolen their bones. Can I go downstairs? Oh god, everything's trying to kill me! Run, run, for the love of fuck, man! I can make myself invisible. Let's make myself invisible. That will help, because my sanity is already done, so... We got low enough sanity. There you go. What? It didn't work? Let's go again. I think it's because I moved too early. Now I'm invisible. And I got no sanity. Okay, now I can freely move around. So that's the best way I found to actually move around this level. When you start with almost no weapons. Okay, so here we want to do... Oh, shit. I'm going to waste my invincibility, actually. It's five point green, so we need five point red. I'm visible, but... What the fuck? 
I think I used the wrong spell. So now reveal invisible? Oh shit, I know which one then. No. Well, you can't see me now, so screw you. Okay. Holy shit, I shouldn't have had them come over there. So if it's not that, let's look at the runes. Let's check the runes we have. Which look like that. Project. And the other one. So it's gonna be Unterbach. Huh? You know what I think it might be? No, it's not. Two, four, six, seven. That's why I can't. I need seven point. It's not five point. I can't count. My bad. Let's move on. So I shouldn't be here anyway. One of the cathedral's guards lies dead by his post. His death was sudden and violent. His broken limbs twisted at odd angles with a trickle of blood issuing from his mouth and ears. All right, somebody left the rifle. That's what I need. A rifle lies on the altar, probably discarded by a fleeing guard. One of the best weapons in the game, I think. Well, the strongest, at least. The Lee Enfield Mark III bolt-action rifles are legends in their own time. Completely reliable, even under adverse conditions, over 3 million were produced in Britain, India and Australia. It was a World War I weapon. Little heal. Before we move on. Now I gotta find a torch, because in the dark like this, this is gonna be very hard to see anything. A guard lies dead at the foot of the steps, viciously assassinated by the creatures now infesting the cathedral. He went quickly and without much of a struggle. Or you can go to the old tower. Alright, they can't see me. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage. There should be a torch here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Okay. Now the game will become a lot easier. No, I'm, I'm invisible, but they still can't see a flying torch. They're fighting each other, too. But everybody's weak to fire. I'm gonna finish this one guy. Shit, I have nothing. I have no melee weapon. I guess I'll just finish him with the revolver. 303, okay, yeah, rifle ammunition, but I'm trying to finish a monster in the dark. Alright, I'm not completely crazy now. Good. Just enough so I don't go, like, I don't get... Oh god, this room has been converted into a rudimentary morgue. Blood-stained sheets cover the unfortunate souls who have passed beyond. Ooh. Let's look around. There should be a lot of ammo here. Some more. 303 rifle. We're gonna need that. Boxes of medical supplies awaiting use and treatment. Covered with bloody fingerprints, it is hard to tell whether they are actually used to save lives or just to relieve the suffering. Ugh. Yeah, this, you can see why I like this chapter. <laughs> it doesn't shy away from, like, the actual horror. Also, this is the room. Oh, he's crazy. Like, that that was him just randomly hitting <laughs> again. Um, this is the room where Anthony's fate was sealed. When he completely zombified and was just left to rot there for, like, what, 400 years? Right, I can see, but they can't see me. The altar stands wreathed in the cold mist. As Peter nears the stone, a sense of deep woe, woe gnaws at his heart. The cathedral is undoubtedly evil, and not the holy place he had thought it to be. So my sanity went down again, I guess I'm going crazy, despite all my efforts. Okay, I'm visible again, don't mind me. I'll be right back. Since I got the rifle, this is a shooty. There's a lot of firearms in this uh, chapter, so we'll use them.
Um, enchant five point chaturga on the rifle. Yeah. All right. Let's try that on these boys. Insta kill. Okay, one more. Should be two of them here. Right yeah, there's one. We don't have pistol ammo, so. Oh my god, she's alive after that? No, not the rat. The nurse from hell. Did, I, did you shoot the rat again? Oh god, that was good. Midair. That was pretty good. His sanity is pretty low, I guess because he's in war. Stuff like that I love about this game. So he's got a lot of mana, his uh, his HP is okay, but his sanity is just not good. Which we do want in this playthrough, of course. I'm just saying. Okay, now I can score. It's the, it's the altar, yeah, 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 I know about the altar. I've been there. Look, like from the stained glass, you can see the the colors on the floor here. Maybe if I turn off the torch? Yeah, it's that's just wonderful. And I killed a rat. I'm going to hell. Anything here? No. I'm expecting some hidden ammo. Let's go into the other part of the old tower. Oh, this is just completely destroyed. Okay, revolver ammunition, gonna need that. And there we go! The double-edged sword. So you gotta pick it up with Anthony first. Then you gotta find Anthony with Paul, kill him, and get the sword from him for it to be here. With uh, Peter. I think. I actually don't know if it would appear there if you don't do the if you don't pick it up with Anthony I know for sure Paul doesn't get it because Anthony didn't have it this room has fallen into disuse the shelves once full of books and scrolls are now rife with dust bearing nothing but trash and debris so they just let this room go to shit not that uh, like the unholy <laughs> army is concerned about cleaning up but so that's the only thing we have here. Oop, very useful thing though. You know what? I'm gonna shortcut that spell to Y. Here we go. Five point. And I'm gonna shortcut the five point invisible. Actually, three point invisible to down. There you go. Nothing here, okay. So this room is only for the sword for him. It's collapsing badly. Probably war didn't help. So now that we have that, we fuck him up. It's time. Please camera, I gotta see them. Oh, there's like several bone thieves here. Oh nice, I love when they hurt each other. Ouch. Can they jump on each other's heads? Ah! Okay. All right, boys, just calm down. Okay, one of them is down. If this human would go away... There you go. There you go. You just hit me while I was finishing your friend off.
All right, it's better now. What about the organ? Can we do it now? A piece of very old paper sits on the pipe organ, callously misplaced and forgotten. It's the same sheet of music that Paul found. And it's bloody now. <laughs> I keep forgetting you can you can do that here. Like in Resident Evil, you can turn things around to examine them. That's pretty cool. The shelling has knocked out the cathedral's generator. The organ cannot be used without the supply of power. It can probably be used if power is restored. Okay, so that's our first task, to restore the power. That will help, surely. We can't go left, so the only place we can go is down. Thanks, sis. Here we go. Those are rats, okay. Just as... I gotta make sure I'm safe. Oh, there's two rooms. So this one of these rooms is new. 303 rifle rounds. What is that sound? Oh, he's losing it. Mr. DeWitt! <laughs> Give us the girl and wipe away the debt. A desk kept meticulously clean. Peter is surprised that it is not more chaotic for a frontline hospital. After all, isn't this where the death certificates are written? They don't need no death certificates. It's the map of Europe, I guess, of the war front. Oh, well, I if you see, sink me, I can't imagine what he's... I see a paper there. There you go. Like the Mar Mary Celeste, the desk hasn't been touched in some time, as though its users suddenly turned away and never returned. A half-written letter bespeaks silent, unfinished activity. <laughs> yeah, rat. Let's kill all the rats. Alright, we have enough revolver ammunition now, so we can use it on lower creatures. It's just... Towels, I think. Yep. <laughs> Exterminate. A side quest, kill all the rats. Yeah, let's save. I don't know when is the last time I saved. 823. 38. Not too long ago, but I wouldn't like to lose that. The workings of the pipe organ have remained mostly the same since installation. Originally the bellows were driven manually, now they are steam powered and the organ controlled electrically. This might be one of the oldest restored pipe organs in the world. Good, ammo is what we need. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Ooh, trappers. Look how many doors. Let's shoot one trapper at least, just to clean the room a little. Two trappers. I lied. How many of them are there? Do I dare look? Hello. That guy was pretty... like he was into it. Casks full of maturing wine line the cellar amidst the rates of the cold air. When the war is over, if it ever is, the wine will be of a good vintage. Oh, he's... he's hearing shit? Oh, what the hell, you can't... there's no passage here? A soldier's body lies on the floor. Far from the front line, this poor man met his end. His fate is far removed from his brothers in arms. A victim of the cathedral, rather than by the bullet or bayonet. Hello, Kalakua! Oh yeah, I did, several months ago. I think. How have you been? Hmm? 
Hmm. Let's go to the left door first. Okay, this looks like a boiler. Yeah. True, I think last time I saw it was like May, just before I cut the hair. <laughs> good to hear, good to hear. I'm glad. Old, rusty, but faithful for many years, a cold burning boiler provides heat and steam to the cathedral complex. There is currently no pressure being diverted to the generators. Uh, yes, turn the wheel. Oh, that's good. That's, that's good. <laughs> Just keep it up. Okay, so we'll... Ah, I remember this. The door is unlocked, but it won't open. It won't open! <laughs> it is as if there is a large object on the other side blocking its movement. So, we gotta be smart about this. We're gonna summon... A trapper. Why? Oh, because of this. Appears to be a hole in the wall is large enough for a small dog to pass through. And as we've learned from Edwin Lindsay's chapter, when it says small dog, it means a trapper. Let's do an, an Uliot trapper. Man, I love Uliot's voice, but never stops being old. Alright. So see this guy? The body of a soldier, a patient from the hospital, lies slumped against the door. Trying to hide from the horror, he has barricaded himself inside the room before succumbing to his wounds. So the trapper has to do his thing. Can I explore anything else with trapper? No. You can even run as the trapper. It is time. Sorry, soldier. So I sent him back to. I sent him back to the. Back. I sent him to the trapper dimension. So next time we get trapped by a trapper, you'll see the soldier there, actually. There we go, the seventh. The seventh. The circle of power, seven point. Which means we can cast the most powerful spells in the game now. We just gotta rediscover all the water we have. Let's start with enchant item. Uh, that's Anterbok Muggermore. Anterbok Muggermore. That's hard to say. And everything else is part of Then the next one, recover, very important. Narakat Santec. Well, yeah. Absorb self, was it? Absorb self, yes. Let's do a zealot path. But do what? Reveal invisible. Narakat Redgomor. Damage field is Bankrock Redgamore. Is Witch Turgonaut. So, protect the area. You can't understand what the hell Chiturga is saying. It's like <laughs> that, that's how, that's how Chiturga speaks. Wait till we do Chiturga run. Next one. Next one will be the Chaturga run. It's just crazy. <laughs> Trying to understand him giving orders to Pius. It's like, what did you say? <laughs> Can you speak up? Netlek Redgomor for the spell magic, okay? Netlek Redgomor. Now summon. We'll be able to summon a horror. Tear and Aratek. Literally summon creature. Yes. 
that one. So we don't know that spell yet. We didn't find the... What's it called? The, uh, the scroll. So we just, we can still do it, but he doesn't know what he's doing. 11 and 12, so we're just missing 9. Whatever 9 was, I can't remember. Okay. So that. We have shield. Bankrock, Santec. Protect self. Yeah. So shield, and finally... Well, that's it. I am missing one spell. can remember which one, though. So we need... I need a combo of two things. I don't know what though. Project self? Is that a thing? No. Project. Nope. I guess we'll find the scroll. Because for the life of me I can't remember which spell I'm missing. I think it's magical attack actually. Yeah! There's a spell that can attack. That's it. New spell. It's gotta be something... Something like makes sense. Area creature? Maybe area creature? No. I think it's got something to do with care. Project creature? No. Absorb? Summon, protect, protect creature? That's 12, yeah, we have that. Uh, absorb creature? No. Maybe project something else. Project... Project power? No. We'll find it. So that's the last spell we need. The one that actually attacks. This room is used to store coal for use in the steam boiler that powers the cathedral generator. Small piles are all that's left and with the almost endless war our supply is a long way off. Well, not too different for, from what we're having here today actually. Okay, we got the boiler running. Now we gotta start the generator. I think the generator is in the room across. Yeah, that's right. There's the generator. The generator is working, but doesn't appear to be providing power to all the circuits in the cathedral. Perhaps a huge fuse has blown. A huge was blown? <laughs> There's a lever to the switch to switch the generator on and off. Should Peter be better? <laughs> Should Peter pull the lever? Yeah, but I don't think it can do shit now. The sound of a metal grating against metal is combined with a hiss of steam, but there doesn't appear to be any output of power. Is the circuit broken? Yep, the circuit is broken. Perched on the wall beside the generator is an open-faced fuse box. box. A fuse appears to be missing. There is no sign of where it could be. Well... What do you do when you don't have a fuse? Don't do this at home, kids. It's not, it's not really smart. In a rush of inventiveness, Peter jams the lucky penny in place of the fuse. Amazingly, it works. The fuse has been replaced. So we gotta turn the generator on now. It's working! World War One era generator. This steam-driven generator is a monstrosity, as though Jules Verne had dreamed it. An antique behemoth covered in brass fittings and spikes wreathed in thorns of crackling electricity. The generator is working and providing power to the cathedral circuits. So we'll be able to see better now, if nothing else. Guys, this looks wonderful here. Too bad the frame rate is halved on the stream. Someday we'll have a capture card that's capable of capturing interlaced at full frame rate. But not right now. Okay, so I think the organ works now. Oh, 
Oh god. What the fuck? I better get ready. Oh. Let's see what's trying to kill me. Is there anything? Oh yeah, there is something. Right on time, look at them just sneaking behind. Holy god. Make him jump. Fuck you, buddy. There's another one there. Am I good? I'm good. I shouldn't have done that, but okay. I can play the yeah, I can play the 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 organ now. An incredibly old but well-preserved pipe organ. The workmanship is quite quite exquisite, with borders, but borders on the grotesque. Tiny demonic figures hide within the swirling facade designs, almost invisible to the eye. Here we go. What was it? A B Y X B Y A. It's still playing. I'm, I'm like long gone, it's still playing. <laughs> what do we have here? The tabernacle is almost empty. Empty of all the things that should be there, such as the holy water or other ritualistic items. There is only a door handle lying on the lower shelf. Should Peter pick up the door handle? Yes, like when you find a door handle, you pick it up, man. A door handle for an obscure door. It doesn't appear to belong to any particular door in sight. Well, not in sight yet, but soon enough. He's tired, come on, you can do it. Alright, now, now we can reveal what's behind this door as soon as the guy catches his breath. Come on, Peter. You can do it, Peter. Uh, reveal invisible seven point chaturga. Uh huh. After the magic has taken hold, the heavy oak door is revealed. Scratches and dents infest the wood, telling a long, dark story. It is missing its handle. There seems to be no way to open it. Well, are you in luck, game? Where's my inventory? Oh god. Torch, please. Don't leave home without it. Alright, we'll have enough ammo. You can just use the gun. You can climb down, I forgot about that. What about the other part of the cathedral? I'm, I'll be right back. Actually, I'm gonna save here, so I can just load. Oh, darkness is coming. How about here? Okay, we can save here. Definitely looking at something, I don't know what. What did you see, Peter? Is there something upstairs? Oh gee, did you see that? That was like a perfect frame. Alright, where are you, guy? I know you were there. Oh, it's gone now. You little bitch. When I had nothing and wanted to kill me, now when I'm armed, it's like, nope, not there. Nothing else here. Well, that's enough.
Not too many sanity effects this run. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's quite random. Sometimes you get a lot of them. Oh boy. What a time for the enchantment to expire. Don't jump. As long as it doesn't jump, yeah. But even if it does. Nothing here. Just let him die. We're not gonna finish him. Saving that sanity. Or like, not saving it. So, like there's no point coming here apparently. Yes, except for the letter. There's nothing else here. There's a lot of wounded people, but that's it. You gotta love the loading speed of the GameCube. There's practically no loading. I can hear the laser moving, like loading just before I open doors, but you never see a loading screen or anything, it just preloads it, kind of. Yeah, we'll be playing this game totally skewed <laughs> with low sanity. Oh, look, there's a wall bleeding. These walls get hurt easily. Okay, so we're back in the part, so both Paul and Anthony were here, just from the... They had different approach. Vectors. Oh god, they're gonna release the... Oh boy. Did they... Okay, I just saved. I didn't, I didn't get it. What happened? Did I not check my health? <laughs> That's the second time in one session. Peter has this time perished at the hands of the eternal darkness. Shit, I didn't check my health. Good thing I saved just before there. No, 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 no. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's his ancestor. Right, let's not die this time. What's my... Oh, of course I died. I didn't heal at all. He... Let's get the maximum heal. Well, not the maximum. I think five point will be enough. No, no, no. Wrong thing. Spell this. Recover. Five point. Damn. So I should have gone with seven point, but that's okay. So interesting thing about if you use recover with Uliath, whatever you use, it just brings you back whatever you put in. So look at that. There goes my mana down. And then zoop, goes back up. So nothing happens. Yeah, I will. You're right, Sina, but I don't know why I'm not doing it. I just forget. Let's use a seven point. Chaturga shield that protects health, but not sanity. That's what we want. There we go. Maximum shields. And get the sword and go in there and fuck him up. Gotta release him. Then... Okay, there we go. Bone thief. We gotta get the bone thief first. Just for the heads. Nothing. Oh, they can fight each other. Cool. Even though they're the same alignment, that's pretty cool. There goes my sanity. Oh, there goes my shield too. Why 
want to go to the Oh. He's very tired. Yeah, you're right, Sinek. Without the shield, this would have been just impossible. Stop regrowing. Let's go. There we go, fucker. Off with his hand. There we go. Dear God. Yeah, I'll do it. Hmm, even the enchantment expired. So remember this room? Just the doors are in different different places. There were doors here before. So there's only two doors in this area, right? Yeah. Let's not lose that. Damn rat, scared me. Also, I also ha I have a fucking hunting rifle. I'm beating them with a sword. Yes, it would sign him. I just first time I did it with the torch. And this this time I was like, here, let's try. You know, it would do th these guys, so it kills the zombie, but not the bone thief inside it. That's why I switched it. And this is bad again. We need that seven point heal. I did say the the Zelta run is not gonna be easy, but we're gonna get over with it first. So cast seven point red. Full HP. Zoop. Back like nothing happened. We also need because it's a horror. I'm not gonna dick around. Do I have mana? I don't have sanity or mana. So, with that in mind, enchant 7 point. Which color? I think they were green. Yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know which zombies have bone thieves in them, and bone thieves don't care about the torch. They're like just heavy weaponry for them. Here we go, the strongest enchantment. The weapon disappears from his arms and comes back. Screw you. Headshot, bitch. Suck it. There you go. Three rifle shots with the maximum enchantment. God, you know how long this would have taken without that? There we go. So this is the room where... Um, what's his name? Oh, thanks, love. Uh, Paul, right? Paul Luther had to sacrifice his friend. Well, sacrifice. That's where the thing was. So, there's four doors in this room now. Jeesh! We came from there. There's one. So there's, yeah, four doors. This one is locked, I think. Yep. So let's start clockwise. Yeah, his sanity is very low. Because he's in World War One, right? He's already losing it. He's already tired of bullshit, so... Kind of makes sense. There's, there's one. Okay, I'm going to use one of these guys. Because I'm going to do this. Enchant everything with the strongest Chaturga. And then go back and refill the magic. Recover. What do I have? I don't have to recover anything. Okay. Let's get teleported. I want the blue.
What is up with the controller? Two zombies fighting each other. Did you see that? One of them just exploded. Remember the soldier we teleported? There he is. A young man's body lies hunched against the wall of the platform. Blood from the viscous wounds surrounding his face and neck soaks the remnants of what appears to be a uniform with a stick sickly dark red. Ah, oh, poor guy. There more of them? Where's my revolver? Oh, I can't see them. I, I can't see shit, but I'm gonna guess. Oh, there he is. A milky blue bottle stands on the altar. A magical elixir. Because we'll need that. We'll need this badly now. We're going to have our first true boss battle in this game. The ancient stone is drenched with blood. Scarred by the countless strikes of a sacrificial knife. The stone reeks of the pain and torment inflicted upon it. The air is cold, filled with lingering spirits. Peter can feel their sullen despair as they witnessed every sacrifice with horror and disgust. They writhe in the dank hair with his every breath, begging for help he cannot give, for release from their unholy tomb. Yeah, they do. They really do look like face huggers. Anything else here? No. Oh. <laughs> Something sounds sloshy. Oh, it's the bleeding room again. We got a lot of bleeding room this time. It's pretty unusual. So we're going clockwise, right? That's the last door we gotta enter. Oh, fuck me. How many times? Like now, after playing Outbreak for so long, I will remember, but when I used to play this game before, so you can only use B to reload if you're out of bullets already. But if you want to continuously reload, you gotta hold the shoulder button, just like in Outbreak, and you gotta hold it. I would just tap it and then try, especially with auto, uh, there's an automatic weapon later, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, it, it, well, no. If there's something there, the darkness is coming. The, it's it's just I know where I can save. Oh. Well, it doesn't see me yet. Yeah. It is really following me around. So let's do enchantment of the... Oh, the sword. Fuck you, buddy. Ooh. There's a lot of blood now. A tattered letter lies forgotten on the chair. It's another soldier's letter. Number three. Third letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love, Margaret. It's been two weeks since Haskell <laughs> went missing, and I'm afraid to go to sleep. More than once I saw shadows of people moving past my bed, peeking through the blinds to see a wounded soldier being taken from his bed. 
drugged and delirious in the head of the night, in the dead of the night, never to be seen again. As Haskell was, perhaps, as I will be. What happened to them? I don't know. I'm afraid to ask what happened, for I know that I would surely be the next one to be taken into the darkness. Well, he was very... I'm not your buddy, guy. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> row upon row of books dedicated to occult lore and arcane science, from the ludicrous to the most hideously unholy. But there's no ammo here. The table is stacked full of occult items, far beyond anything Peter has expected. He uncovers bizarre drawings of unnatural creatures, animated corpses, and other ether ethereal nightmares. The shelf appears to be recessed into the wall, not quite as flush as the others in the room. Almost as if it could slide inward, should Peter push the shelf. Oh, for the love of... Enough with the trappers. Can I trap a trapper with a trapper? Let's try that. Let's trap a trapper with a trapper. App a trapper. What are these guys? Red? So blue. My favorite. Oh no, the other one is green. That's okay. Let's see if a trapper can trap a trapper. <laughs> it's a trap! Er. Oh no, wait, that's a. Where's the guy? Oh, that was just a rat. Possibly. I'm very tired, Sinab. For days, I'm sleeping. Oh, I'm losing sanity. Better leave it. Now, summon a trapper to trap a trapper. For days, I've been sleeping. No, I can't. I tried. Honestly, I tried right away. You know if you can trap them when you press the aim button. If they don't, like, if they don't get highlighted, you can't trap them. See? But this thing... Oh, no, this guy. Oh, he died. Okay, you can't have two trappers. Fuck it. I tried. When well, next time we see him, someone remind me to do it. Damn, I, I spent my mana. I might need it in the next room. Let's see. Let's try it now. I'm already crazy anyway, so... Oh. <laughs> you just gotta run around a little and mana will replenish itself. And now I can use the trapper to fill up mana. No, didn't work at all. Now we know. Actually, I'm gonna use this guy because I because I used up all my mana now. <laughs> I need the blue, blue, yes. Oh. controller vibrates, I run. God, that was close. There you go. Where is it gonna end up? He just fired the bolt. He's gonna come here? Oh, it went to the other one, okay. Whew! Back to torch. Too bad there's no torch shortcut button. A key lies upon the accursed shrine, glinting in the soft candlelight. It's the binding hole key. Oh! This is it? 
an oddly shaped key carved from what appears to be a large bone. Smaller bones and fragments of other organic matter form the teeth and handle of the key. Well, that's a fucked up key. Kinda 2D. But it works. If it works, it works. Alright, it's for this door, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh god. It looked like there were more of them from this perspective. Don't fart! There's a torch here and candle, man. You're gonna burn us all. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Hi, Waluigi. Welcome to the stream. How's your day? A soldier's cold and stiff body lies sprawled on the steps. Peter attempts to flip the corpse over to discover his identity, but all that is left of the man's face is a ruined mass of eaten flesh. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> you, you do... Oh, you smell right. Holy shit. I don't, I'm not sure if I found that before. A soldier's cold. Yeah, it's another soldier's cold and stiff. There we go, the next spell. We're gonna learn it finally. Magical attack, that's what it's called. Project area. Okay, we're gonna need this. Badly. I think that's the only way we can hurt the upcoming boss, so... That's it, that's it. We have all the 12 spells. Only for three of them we still don't know what they do, but we will. So magical attack assigned. I think it has to be... Oh shit, I forgot. Does it have to be a 7 point? Fuck it, I'll put it here. No. Oh, because I didn't... Okay. Which runes do we need for that? We need... Enterbok and Redgomor. So let's do a 5 point one. And then the same with the 7.1. There we go. Alright. Okay, so now... The sign... I forgot which one. I think it's 3 or 5. I think it has to be three, because you can't cast anything stronger. So I think I did good. We'll see. Let's save. Shit's about to hit the fan. Let's... Okay, two things. I gotta prepare, because this battle can be fucked up if you're not prepared. So first, enchant item. The strongest. Red. We're gonna enchant uh, all three weapons, basically. The sword. Too bad you can speed it that up, but if you if you interrupt it, then you fuck it up and you lose mana. The revolver. And finally, the rifle. All right, I'm ready to face the horrors. I think I should have... 
to my sanity. Should I use shield? That's a good question. Probably I should. It's not a bad suggestion, Sineb. Once again, you saved my life. Shield, let's do a 5.7 point, point right away. There we go. I'm out of mana, but it will refill because I will run like crazy around the room. And what's about to happen? The corridor is ended by an elaborate door, decorated in a manner much different than the others within the cathedral. Peter senses an unbearable evil beyond that door. When he reaches, reaches it to open it, fear creeps up, creeps into his gut and begins to eat at his soul. Should Peter open the door? Well, there's no no in this game. Hey Carter, welcome to the stream! <laughs> He smelt her. I'm doing good, man. What about you? We're about to... Raziel's about to fight. The Black Guardian. There we go. The most important artifact in this run. That's the reaction. <laughs> That's the reaction you when you see two evil. Get your fucking revolver out. Unlike some characters. Okay. Can I do it right away? Did I shortcut it? I thought I did, but I gotta make so right this magical attack. Oh shit, I was too close. That's okay. Gotta make him shoot me. Now. Too late. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. I gotta be far enough so he can't hit me easily. Now. When he's flashing green, I gotta cast a magical attack. There you go. Oh shit. There you go. Oh, That's okay. We'll fill up. Why does it stick to me like so? Should I go further? I guess it changes from playthrough to playthrough. Yes. Right away? Oh. Where are the zombies? Like it changes. Still need more. I need to walk around to refill it. Hold on, Carter. I'll get to that in a moment. Can I do it now? There we go. Okay, second phase. That's why I have the magical elixir, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I love this chapter as well, man. Well, it is the same kind of architecture, really. I should have should have shot him while he was shining. Uh, 
He's gonna summon more. And then I can... gotta make sure to be to aim at it and not the zombies that's what fucks me over most of the time you're gonna shine green no he has to see me I think he's also there let's play this smart Oh, why are you guys on two sides? There you go. Ooh, breed. Should be more zombies there. Yeah, okay, they're gonna die. Because as soon as the zombies die, he's gonna summon it, them again. I gotta be kinda. I gotta make it see me. Before doing anything else. Where's that other zombie? I think one of them is missing. There we go. Because it won't get stunned until it sees me. That's weird. Come on. Oh, I didn't chain in time. Damn it. Now you gotta finish him, start all over again. Make it summon him. Okay, let's try not to fuck it up this time. Maybe make them move. Yeah, I gotta kill at least one of them. So the chain's shorter. There you go. Now let's make it look at me. Come on. Come on, man. Very picky boss. The fuck are you waiting for? At least try to provoke it. Come on. Watch the hold up. I think I wasn't there soon enough, like, fast enough. Nah, just, just lie reloads. Full clip. What is up? Oh, now you want to fight me. What are you waiting for, man? Now I'll reload. I guess he doesn't want to fight me. Number two. Next time I'll just stand in front of it. I remember it being quite picky. Let me see the chat now before it goes, goes too far. Could be better, could be worse. Survive. The fear of bees? 
<laughs> Nothing I would know anything about. <laughs> yeah, it does look like Warder's Mansion, but also the architecture, yeah. Main character from Hellraiser. Four. Wait, is that the one where it's all a big hallucination? Wait, agoraphobia? Or is that the sphere of open spaces? Um, or is it something else entirely? Damn. Just as long as it... I gotta make it look at me. What the hell? Is the boss broken? What am I missing? Turn around. Didn't try one now, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of worse. Well, you can avoid bees, but you can't avoid ouch, open spaces. I don't know, if this happened before, I've seen similar, because it got to see me, it won't do the thing before it looks at me, and I got to be fast enough and not interrupt it. Come on, there. See, it was like a millisecond too late. So you just gotta be very good with it. Sorry to hear that, man. I hope it gets better. Come on, summon. I think if I kill one zombie, if I just like headshot it, it'll have less, the chain will be smaller, at least one zombie, and then when it does its thing, come on, why are you not doing it, there you go, wait, 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 that's not the thing I want you to do, you gotta, you gotta get like all weak and shit. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, who knows? Let's shoot the first zombie we see again. They're taking my HP already. Okay, it's doing the blasty thing. Don't do the blasty thing. I'll try hiding behind it again. That seems to have worked the last time. Or just make it spend its magic or something. You just killed your own boss. I mean, your own zombie. Are you dumb? Dumb dumb. Still tired? Oh, that's right. Maybe better to take a 5.1. Just be done with it. Recover 5 points sanity.
You know what? I'll try what I did the last time I played this with Zelotath. This boss is entirely different depending on... Are you trying to fight me? Or entertain me? <laughs> That's because I hit it instead. How many bullets do I have? 15 only, shit. Oh. So this boss battle is different with each alignment. There's a different Black Guardian. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna keep the rifle. Have it start summoning. Come on, start summoning. There you go. Then run behind it. And see if that works. That used to work in the past. Come on. I think it's gonna turn towards me at one point. Yeah, you gotta shoot it with something for it to do that. It's kinda weird. Like it doesn't care about killing me. Third time, wow. Well, fuck me, I guess. Zombies or... He's still not doing the thing, why? How about the revolver, because I'm getting low with this ammo. Work. Oh, it's in an hour. Thank you, though, Sinev. Like, what the hell? You should be attacking me. Maybe I need sanity for it to try to drain my sanity? Because it's got to kind of turn towards me to do that. Let's switch to the sword. Oh, my neck, my beautiful neck. You gonna do it? Or are we gonna fuck around like this forever? God! I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, this could be this could be it. Come on. Go weak. Come on. Oh my god, just do something. Yeah. 
No, but it's, it's not doing anything. I don't know what to do. I might have to load the game. Very tired from all the running. Kind of like bug. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. We'll see if it persists. We just saved just outside the boss room, so that should be okay. This has been going on for 10 minutes. <laughs> Definitely. We need mana. Okay, yeah, we'll have that. Just enough to cast one of these, then I can have the elixir. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes the IP switch. Oh, you can't skip it? Sasha, it did bug like this last time we played this summer, right? The Zelta uh, Black Guardian, it just won't go vulnerable for some reason. I rem seem to remember that happening the last time we played with Zelta. Yeah, so they did. It's not just my imagination. Okay, the first part's gonna be easy. Like last time it just started. There, that's what needs to happen. Well, that's happening. I gotta use that. There you go. Glitched for some reason, I think. There's three faces to, to this battle. Wait, I seem to remember a guy telling me not to kill zombies. I think that's it. Like a long time ago when I was doing a Zeltat run. I think you need to have all three zombies then there. Then when it starts... I think that's it. Because it won't go weak as long as... You kill a single zombie. I'm gonna try that. Come on. Yeah, it's very specific. So I needed to start doing the thing and then quickly kill a zombie and cast the spell. There we, there we go. I won't make it. Oh, it didn't work. But yeah, all three zombies need to be. Is that it? So I. I you think that's it? Just the distance? Okay, yeah, I'll try that. Thanks, love. So Sasha seems to remember what works. Gotta have all three zombies alive, but also 
trigger the guardian to start doing its thing and be far away from the zombies so that the that the guardian is the first creature in the yeah come on face me so all three zombies need to be standing There we go. Damn it! But something like that. God damn it. I remember that was good. I need him dead. Ronid says hi. Ronid, I'm sorry. I get the English R. All right, here we go. Go! Ah. I think this is the hardest... Just because of this, this is the hardest version of this battle. Nah, I'll just make it look at me and quickly shoot the zombie in the head. Come on. Oh, am I out of mana now? Oh, nope, he didn't because he was shooting. Damn, so that's a bad weapon to use. Can we okay, kill the other guy too, please? It's really tricky. I think if I'm just fast enough when it happens and close enough, it'll work. Let's see. I'll start a little earlier. As soon as it looks at me, I'll start casting it. Because it'll turn around. There you go. There you go. The timing is like very precise. All right, that's it. So as soon as the zombies start walking towards me, I can start casting it. There you go. Fuck you, buddy. Because as soon as you kill one of those... It didn't glitch, it was my bad. If you kill one of the zombies... It won't do it. Right on time. That was beautiful. <laughs> he kind of looks like human Raziel, doesn't he, Carter? Okay, it gets trickier here. I do need the rifle now badly. Where can I move away, man? There we go. Woo!
Are you done? Fuck you. There we go. <laughs> no. No. I mean, I can't tell you no. <laughs> All right, we did it. I'll remember that for next time. I know it already had issues with this. With the Guardian of Zelothath vanquished, and the stained glass that kept it hidden lying in pieces, the essence of Chaturga is now liberated. Its magic beckons to Peter, calling to him. He approaches cautiously. Should Peter retrieve the essence of Chaturga? Fuck yeah! Peter reaches out for the artifact, but pulls away as he feels its corrosive magic close on his hand. Wrapping his hands in a shred of clothing, he carefully lifts the artifact from its resting place. Mm. 69 years later. And that was how I came by it. I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I have is that statue. Hmm. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very <laughs> rare, though. Card. <laughs> Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. And none of them know what it is. And you do. But you read the book, man. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. An interest I developed a long time ago while I was a young man. We're gonna and learn how. I should keep it. Lord knows I have no interest in it. I'm sure it's the cause of my sleeplessness. I keep thinking about it. As if it's calling out to me. Then a drink, perhaps, for the gift, for an unusual objet d'art. Well, that was a... just rudely interrupted. Six to nine! <laughs> dirty Carter. Having stopped reading, Alex discovers a small penny tap to the back of Peter's chapter page. Tape, not tap. Alright, she's now <laughs> completely batshit nuts. She's got Peter's lucky penny. And let's see. Okay, so the next... We're left with one, two... Two... Chapters 3 with the final one. But the next one, next one is Edward, right, Carter? Edward's chapter is gonna be very long, in essence, because you gotta do a lot of weird shit. You gotta go through the whole mansion, then you gotta go through the whole all of City of Enga, where Max went downstairs and killed the Guardian and gone like the final thing you do with max right so you got to see the whole city and then we got another in the forbidden city the one in the middle east hi kitty kitty in the city and then finally we got alex after she gets all the knowledge she can uh she can face pious Yeah, other chapter is going to be too long. I'm going to stop it here for now. I'm just thinking. I want to do it, but at the same time, I'm nearing the end of my strength. So, let's end it here. We got four through four very um, tiring chapters. So, let's see who's rateable. Stop it. and Get some help. I do need rest badly. Hopefully, tonight I'll sleep. Tomorrow is... I didn't put anything on... Um, I didn't put anything on the schedule for tomorrow because uh, we have some like social obligations. So I'm not sure if I'll be home in time for stream. So far, so right now, episode 3 is scheduled for fucking, what is it called? Uh, <laughs> I'm dying. Saturday? For Saturday? But um 
if we make it in time tomorrow, we're gonna do it. That, that should be, that should really be the last episode. Because when I beat the first five chapters in one session, I was like, yeah, I can do it, do this in two sessions. But no, these later chapters are really, like, they're, they're, you feel they're more complex after the, after Max's chapter. Let's see here. Let's raid, let's raid Mayo. She's doing resistance. Why not? <laughs> zombie. <laughs> Poor zombie. <laughs> What, that I thought I'd be beat it in two sessions? Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> Maybe if I did like eight hour sessions, yeah. Or if I sped run through the game, but that's no fun, especially in a game like this, so... That should be the last one. It should have like four episodes. As long as it doesn't drag out. I remember one trick in the final, like the second to last chapter, that always gets me, so we should be good. We'll see. Hopefully tomorrow, if not Saturday then, Everyone stay well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Zombie, Carter, Sis for always being here. Sinev, Sexy Wesky for the raid. He's sleeping. As well as Simon. And everyone else. If I miss someone, count yourself. <laughs> Bye.